So moving on to our next question, we have find the equation of sphere having circle. The circle is formed by the intersection of these two uh, equation which gives uh, the first equation is of spay and the second equation of is of plane so when the both our spay and the plane intersect then it forms a circle which is a great circle right for a spay for a spay okay and this spay has this great circle as its diameter and we must have to find the equation of this sphere which has uh, the great circle which is formed by the intersection of this two equation as its diameter okay so here the equation of uh, sphere uh, which comes like this s plus lambda p which is its formula Okay, so replacing everything in yes plus lambda p, we get x square plus y square plus z square plus 7y minus 2z plus 2 and lambda means constant and p means 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 8 equals to 0. So let's expand it all, expand it all and we'll get x square plus y square plus z square plus 7y minus 2z plus 2 plus 2x lambda plus 3y lambda plus 4z lambda minus 8 lambda equals to 0. Now we have uh, many terms of y, two terms of y and two terms of, uh, sorry, one term of x and one, two terms of z. So we can take those as common. So taking x as common, we only get 2 lambda. And taking y as common, we get 7 plus 3 lambda. And taking z as common, minus z we take, and the minus gets plus. And over here, it will get minus 4 lambda plus the remaining part, 2 minus 8 lambda equals to 0. So let, let's call this as equation 1. So now, this is our required uh, equation of a sphere through which the circle passes, okay? The circle exists in it, right? So to find the exact equation, because here the lambda value is unknown. So to find this value of lambda, we must know that this circle or this sphere is through the plane, okay? This sphere or this great circle is through that uh, through that plane because it, it, it is formed by the intersection of this plane and this sphere. So we can uh, tell that any point on this great sphere, sorry, great circle is on that plane. So if we find the center of this equation and plot it to the plane equation, then we can find lambda. So let's do that. So to find the center, we must have to compare it to our standard equation of sphere. So uh, I'll write the standard equation of sphere first. Our standard equation of spay goes like this, plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus d equals to 0. So comparing it with uh, uh, this equation number 1 uh, to our standard equation, we'll get, uh, sorry, first I'll tell you what the center is, minus u, minus v, minus w, and the u will get, okay, so when we compare 2ux over here, the u part will get lambda but here we must have to find minus u so minus u will get minus lambda and over here the v part will get minus v part will get as here is plus we need minus so minus is over there and we need 2 as well because 2 vy here is no 2 so we divide it by 2 first and we write the remaining part as it is so next one is minus z and sorry not minus z minus w this minus w and the minus part is already there so we can write plus 2 minus 4 lambda by 2 taking 2 as common uh, from here 1 minus 2 lambda and that 2 2 gets cut and this is our required centers so when we put these centers to our plane because it's the center of our spay right equation of the spay and the center uh, exists on the great, great circle as well as the plane equation so we can plot our points to our plane so plotting our points 
to our plane we get my z this is the equation of the plane okay equation number two and plotting our centers centers to equation two this is two we get minus two uh, which is x means minus lambda plus three minus seven plus three lambda by two plus four one minus two lambda minus eight equals to zero and now we can solve it to find the value of lambda like as this one minus 21 minus 9 lambda by 2 plus 4 minus 8 lambda minus 8 equals to 0 and minus 4 lambda minus 21 minus 9 lambda plus 4 4 to 4 the 8 minus it was 16 16 lambda 16 lambda minus 16 equals to 0 and we get minus 11 lambda equals to 21 minus 8 plus 16 from the next side and minus 29 lambda will get minus 29 lambda will get equals to 29 sorry not this one I'll, I'll written okay minus minus 4 minus 9 and minus 16 will become minus 29 lambda and the this these parts will be 29 and the lambda part will be minus 1 after that so we have find the value of lambda so if we plot this lambda to our equation number one we get our equation of the space which contains that great circle so uh, substituting our value of lambda in equation one we get x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus y 7 plus 3 into minus 1 minus z 2 minus 4 into minus 1 plus 2 minus 8 minus 1 right and equals to 0 so solving this we'll get our required answer which is x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus 4y minus 6z plus 10 equals to 0 which is our required equation of a sphere through which the great circle passes so thank you